Yesterday, Organist1982 asked me if I could create a system to allow the electric heating to be controlled by a digital thermostat. Right now, we've got this analog uh, line voltage thermostat controlling an electric heater, but he just couldn't get the heat adjusted uh, the way he wanted it. It would get too hot and then too cold, and the calibration would not be right. So he asked if I could uh, set up a relay system for the heater like I did for the air conditioner. We've actually got a digital thermostat at home, but don't have it actually hooked up to the heater now. And I didn't want to plug the heater into the relay that's used for the air conditioner because I don't think it could handle the current. The air conditioner draws maybe about 5 amps, and that relay is rated for 10 amps, so I needed to get uh, a beefier relay set up for it. I went to the local uh, industrial electronics distributor today and got a mechanical uh, heavy-duty relay. And I thought, well, I need to get the relay first of all, and then I'll try and figure out some kind of an enclosure for it. So I was looking all around here. I was, I was looking in here. Here's a box of all kinds of old electronic projects. I got at an estate sale. And I also got this thing. This is just kind of a mystery box with some outlets on it that I got at a ham, uh, a ham fest. And I didn't know what was in it, but I thought, well, I don't know if I want to use this box just to, con just to do this one relay control for the heater. But I thought, well, maybe there's some parts inside I could use. So I found that there was three solid state relays in there, plus a switching power supply and some kind of circuit board, which hooks up to uh, nine pin connectors. I don't know how this thing worked. I bet somebody paid a, a pretty penny for it. It's really well designed. So I'd like to try and use this for some other application, maybe to control air conditioners or something. But I then took one of those solid state relays out of there and I uh, hooked it up in this little project box. And even though I had a mechanical relay, I thought, well, this solid state relay is lower profile. It'll fit in the box easier and be safer than having the the mechanical exposed contacts really close to the to the top of the project box. So this is a Crydom solid state relay, CSD2450, can handle up to 50 amps. So I think it ought to be uh, it ought to work just fine for the 15 amp load of the heater. I've got it hooked up to the Astron 12 volt supply, and you'll notice I've got the output hooked up to a little lamp here for test purposes. I've got 14 gauge wiring which should handle the load of the heater. So I'm going to power it up now. And it seems to work good. You notice it stays on for a little bit after I switch the switch off due to a, a charge retain in the capacitors of the power supply. See I'll switch it off. The lamp will stay on for a moment because the capacitors are still providing some voltage. So I just wired this up and it ought to it ought to do the trick for the heater. I'll just have to hook up to the heating contacts of the digital thermostat, make sure I get the polarity correct, go into the solid state relay. That ought to solve the, the problem of getting the heater to work right. We do need the heater to work now because it's getting down into the 30s and they don't have any central heating or air conditioning. We just have to use a, uh, a, uh, an electric heater for, uh, for heat purposes. And that, that works good, but this ought to give a lot better control of the heat than just the, uh, the analog line voltage thermostat. So I'm going to take this home and then get it all hooked up.